So now we're going to be doing some more complicated integrals, which are doing volumes of revolution or just general volume shapes. And so what we're going to be doing is this is an extension of area under curves, except now we're going to take our representative rectangles. And, um, and if you understood that process for the area under the curves, we're going to use those representative rectangles to then compute volumes. Now again, I don't memorize volume. I don't memorize equations. I don't think that's useful for you because um, when you're taking when you're preparing for exams, you may, you may make a mistake. So I, I, I focus on the process here. And so we're going to use the washer disk method to find the volume of the solid created when the shaded region is revolved around the x axis. So what I want to do here is I want to create my representative rect rectangle and then decide what it's being revolved around. And it's going to be revolved around the x-axis. And so it's going to create a three-dimensional shape disk like this that has this kind of thickness on it. Right? So if I were to draw this sort of shape, not as big, but it, it's going to look like a disk. Um, sorry, those are not good drawings. Oh, what the heck? Um, sorry about that. For some reason the system's running slow. Computer just jittered for a second. Okay, so I want to find the volume of this disk here. Right? And it has some thickness here. And the volume, like, so, so I know that the shape it sweeps out is a disk, my representative rectangle. So my goal is to say, like, what's the volume of the, thi the, the, the disk? Well, it's simply the area of the face times the thickness. So what's the area of the face? Well, the thickness is dx. The area is pi r squared, where this is r. My radius, though, in this picture, as you can see, it's the height of this rectangle. So my r is just simply equal to 3 minus x squared. And so that means the volume of this thing is pi times 3 minus x squared squared. That's the area of the face, and then times the thickness. This would be the volume of this disk. And then I want to sum up the volume of the disks all the way from x equals negative 2 to 2. Because I want to do all the disks between here and here. Okay. And so... Um, this you can't do as a u substitution, but you can do as an expansion. So this would be 9 minus 6x squared plus x to the fourth dx from negative 2 to 2. And so this I factor out a pi. I, this would be um, 9x minus 3x cubed. Wait, no, x, yeah, 2x cubed. Sorry, 2x cubed. And then plus 1 fifth x to the fifth. Uh, from negative 2 to 2 and so that's pi times 9 times 2 minus negative 2 minus 2 times um, 2 2 cubed minus negative 2 cubed plus 1 fifth times 2 minus negative 2 uh, 2 to the fifth minus negative 2 to the fifth all of this so this is uh, 4 so this is pi times 36 this becomes 8 minus negative 8. That's 16, positive 16. So that's minus 32. And then plus 1 fifth times 2 to the fifth is 32 minus negative 32. That's 64. So this is pi times 4 plus uh, 64 over 5. I don't know. This is 20 over 5. So that's 84 over 5. All right. Um, we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're only doing half of the region here. Okay, so it's the exact same integral setup as before. It's going to be my pi r squared, but now I'm only adding up all the disks from zero to two. So I'm integrating zero to two of all of this stuff. Um, pi nine minus six x squared plus x to the fourth dx. Okay. And so um, we just simply do pi times 9x minus 2x cubed plus 1 fifth x to the fifth. And we're doing it from 0 to 2. Now when I plug in 0, none of them matter. 
and it's going to be pi times 9 times 2 minus 2 times 2 cubed plus 1 fifth times 2 to the fifth and that's pi times 18 8 times 2 is 16 plus uh, 32 over 5 that's pi times uh, 2 plus 32 over 5 and that's uh, times 5 that's 10 that's 42 over 5 pi and by the way that's half of this one here right which makes sense I only did half the region like if I think about the three-dimensional shape it makes same thing here I'm gonna do my representative rectangle and I'm gonna sweep it around the x-axis right and that's gonna create a disk right if I think about my disk that it's gonna create okay it's gonna be a little bit thick here a thickness DX my radius is the uh, height of my rectangle so my R is equal to cosine of X and so we're gonna do pi times cosine squared X that's the area of my face times DX that's the volume of this disk and then I'm gonna add up all of the disk values from 0 to well when this cosine of X equals 0 that's at pi over 2 so pi over 2 here now to do this integral you actually have to use a, an identity uh, when you do cosine squared, there's no substitution you can really do. Um, this is equal to 1 plus cosine 2x over 2. So this becomes pi over 2 integral of 1 plus cosine 2x dx from 0 to pi over 2. And then I can do the antiderivative of these pretty easily. Um, this is x plus uh, sine 2x but I gotta divide by two because when I take the derivative of sine, I would get cosine 2x times two, the derivative of the inside by chain rule. So I can divide by two to get rid of that. From zero to pi over two. So this is pi over two times zero plus sine zero over two um, plus pi over two, or I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I wanna do pi over 2 minus 0 then plus sine of pi over 2 minus sine of 0 over 2 both of these are just 0 sine of pi and sine of 0 0 so this is just pi over 2 times pi over 2 that's pi squared over 4 okay thanks for watching if you're looking for more examples go to my website in there, I have free access to over 400 calculus questions that I solve and I show you step by step. So if you're interested in seeing more, please check out my website.